Hi everyone, so welcome to my fifth Lawn Fawn Friday and I just wanted to show you guys um, what I used for these two cards. This is what I used, this is all I used this time, and this is actually my two favorite cards of everything that I've made. So um, this is called Happy Wedding and the Large Stitch Rectangles, and then I used uh, the Recollections paper and um, this is the first card here. I just think this is so adorable. And the only thing I'm bummed about is that I don't have a wedding to go to right now. Because I just think it's so cute. So I did the stitch rectangles in a frame here. And then just placed it on the pink um, card, that, card base that I made. And then I stamped congrats there with some little hearts. And I colored that whole thing up with my uh, Copics and I put some Winka Stella on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see the sparkle or not, but I did it on the whole, actually, no, I didn't do it on the whole cake. I did it on the trim there and on the little birdies and um, the cake base. So yeah, that is the first one. And then I put the XOs right here on the back. I thought that was kind of cute. And then um, this is the envelope I made, and I used the little, um, I guess, tied the knot um, stamp. And then that is the paper I used for the liner. And I just thought it turned out really sweet. And then the second one I love, and I wish I knew someone that was engaged. Um, so this is the card here, and this one was the most simplest card because this is just a big punch that I have so I just punched that out and um, I colored the ring up with um, what did I use my Achi uh little sparkly markers and um, yeah and I did a frame and I um, used this Tiffany blue color and then this is the inside here congratulations I put some XOs on the back and I just think it turned out cute. I did hearts for the liner. And then I have this little, this isn't Lawn Fawn here, but this is a little diamond stamp that I used from um, the Sweet Shop. I think it's called Sweet Shop. So those are my two cards. And um, I have gotten so many questions about these um, liners that I've been putting in and I couldn't figure out how to do it. On my um, punch board but I'm going to show you guys really quick if you're interested um, on how I did it so um, first of all I just used this to make my envelope and I just did it I kind of pre made things so you guys could see um, and it would be faster so um, wait that's not the one okay so here's the envelope right here and um, what I did was I, and I'm going to do this really fast, you guys. I just take a piece of thick um, cardstock, which this is the Recollections 100, 110 pound, and I just line it up about halfway here and then move it all the way there because I don't really care about that notch. I know a lot of people can do that on their punch board, but I haven't been able to figure it out. So this is how I do it, and I just go like this. And then straight down like that and then very quickly I will cut it out you guys I'm not good at tutorials and I'm not going to consider this one a tutorial okay so um, if you guys want an awesome tutorial go to Anna's channel and she is um, serenity oh my gosh I think it's serenity creations um, and I don't know how to do links, but I'm going to try and figure it out so you guys can see um, how she does it because she does an awesome job. Okay, so there is the template. So once you do this, you only have to do this part once and you can just keep it. So um, here's the envelope and I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now so you guys can see. I can get this up. There we go. Oops. So you guys, I'm horrible at tutorials. 
I don't want to call this one a tutorial. So there we go. Okay, so then just fold it up like that. So you make your um, envelope and then like this is going to be the liner. So this is all I do, you guys. This is like the simplest thing and I'm not precise with anything. I'm not like a, um, a perfectionist or anything, but I line it up like that and I just cut there. Oops, am I in frame? Okay, there. And then here. And then I take this um, right here. And I'm just going to punch it so it's round like that. And then all I do... Okay, so what you got to do is you just got to trim a little off. That's what I meant to do. So when you make this template, just um, try it in here and then just trim it off a little bit. But that's all you have to do is just like a little tiny bit. So then it fits in like this. Let me move all this out of the way. So it fits in like that and I just go about right there. And then I fold this part down and use my bone folder like that. And then I get out my adhesive and um, I don't mind using this adhesive on um, this part of it because um, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. It's just the red line tape that I like to use to do the other part. And then there it is. It's like perfectly lined up and it looks cute and it's, you know, it's in there, it's on there. Um, this is where I like to use the red line tape. And then when I seal my envelope, I use the red line tape here. So you guys, that is it on the envelope. Super easy. And um, I hope you guys liked the cards. And you know, I wanted to tell you guys something else too, really quick. Um, I have loved all the comments that you guys have sent, have given me on all these cards that I've made. And um, I really, really appreciate it. I read every comment. But um, in the past couple weeks, this finger right here, it keeps like locking up. And so I'm not, um, I'm not re returning any comments right now, unless it's a question, because it's just too many to um, answer. And um, so I'm just going to verbally say thank you guys so much for watching and um, for all your sweet comments because it is just really sweet and it makes me want to um, keep doing this. So as long as you guys watch it, I'll do it. I probably have a couple more um, Lawn Fawn Fridays to do. So um, yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, so there they are. And um, hope you guys have a really great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.